Hi everyone, welcome to my kitchen. I am going to start a new vlog. I've uh, decided that the things that I'm cooking I should probably put down on video and stick up on YouTube. Um, as you all know, I am Fen's boyfriend. So to start off, I am going to be making one of Fen's favourite recipes, soft pretzels. I'll be doing a, a sweet version and a savoury version. And uh, hopefully you guys will be inspired to try it at home. It's really easy and it's really tasty and it's a hell of a lot cheaper than those expensive stores that you find in Stratford or whatever. Alright guys, so to start off, you're going to need a bowl with your measured flour in it. Don't worry too much at the moment about the measurements. I'm going to put them at the bottom. A wooden spoon helps to stir. The next thing you need is some sort of fat. I've used stalk today, but feel free to use butter. Um, unsalted butter, obviously, I think would be better. You're going to need milk. That's the wetness in the dough comes from milk for pretzels. The last thing you'll need to get the dough to rise is some dried yeast. You can get these in big boxes or in individual sachets. We buy big boxes of them because uh, we make a lot of homemade bread too. The box looks like this. You get quite a few sachets in there. It's very cheap. What makes a pretzel nice and brown is bicarbonate of soda. That stuff here. Um, I'll explain what we're going to do with that. It's a bit odd but it's kind of fun and it makes pretzels delicious. If you're going to make the ones that we really like, the sweet flavoured cinnamon and sugar ones, you're going to need cinnamon and sugar. If not, you can go classic and just use some good quality rock salt. You're going to try and be good and use this butter flavoured cooking spray. It's a bit of an experiment, we'll see how it goes. Um, but by all means, you don't have to follow what we're doing and you can just use some regular butter. So into your bowl goes the flour and also your fat. I've put the fat in already, you can't quite see it because the flour's gone around it, but here it is. Go ahead and sprinkle your yeast straight in. Some people say that you should rehydrate it and let it sort of ferment in some warm milk first, but I found that actually you really don't need to do that. You can skip that and go ahead and put that straight into your flour. Give that a little whiz, just to mix the yeast in. Don't want it clumping. Once you're satisfied with that, once you're satisfied, oh, <laughs> satisfied with that, you don't need to do too much. Go ahead, pour a bit of your milk in. Stir that in, and then the rest of your milk. Stir that in as much as you can. You're not going to be able to incorporate that completely with just your spoon. So it's going to be time to get messy. On your work surface, just dust it with a bit of flour. and get your hands in. Don't worry if it feels a bit sticky at this point. You can always add more flour. But you need to give it a good kneading. So mine's sticking, so I'm gonna add some more flour. If you've got a bread machine or a KitchenAid or something like that, you can just do it all in there. Um, I do have a bread machine, but I understand that not a lot of people are so privileged. So I'm going to go ahead and do it by hand to show you that it's completely doable. It's fine. Now this is going to take about five minutes. You need to keep kneading, adding more flour when you need to, until you've got a nice silky texture. Now I've got to add earlier, it's important that you use strong white bread flour. If you use normal plain flour you're not going to be able to knead it into a texture that's bready. And you need it to be bready, otherwise it won't be a pretzel. Because pretzels are after all a bread of some sort. Keep kneading it every time it starts to stick. Add a little bit more flour or loaves. If you've added too much just move it to one side and just keep going. This is going to take me five minutes in real time but it'll be done in no time in the video. As 
as you can see the dough is now starting to come together but it's not quite there yet. Keep kneading, only adding more flour if it gets sticky. The more you work it, the less flour you'll need. When you're kneading it, don't worry too much about technique. You can kind of push it out and fold it back, or you can just kind of hit it. What you want to do is just keep it moving, fold it in on itself. If one arm gets tired, just use the other one. So once your guy is nice and silky, you can see from the texture here, you're going to need to put it somewhere to prove. So, get your bowl, get a little bit of oil, scooch it about your fingers, make sure it's up on the sides. This will stop the dough from sticking as it rises. Get your dough, put them in there, I like to whirl them about, make sure it's nice and coated. And all you do is cover it with a towel or you can use some cling film, that's fine. Put it aside and wait about an hour for it to rise or until it's doubled in size. See you in a bit. Okay, so um, as you can see, we lost a bit of the natural light. In fact, we lost all the natural light, but our dough is looking pretty good. So, for this stage, the first thing you're gonna need to do is to get yourself a kettle full of boiled water. We are going to make the bicarbonate of soda. We're gonna make the bicarbonate of soda bath for the pretzels and that needs to be warm. So over here I've got my pan. Oh, just gonna pour some pre-boiled water in there. I just find it faster to, to heat the water up in the kettle first. Your Nobody mileage may be. Ain't nobody got time for that. Also, yeah, before I forget, get your oven on. You want it fan assisted on 220. And that needs to start getting warm. So we come back to the pan. And I'm gonna use two teaspoons of bicarbonate. Be careful with it, it fizzes up. If you don't watch it, it might go over the top. Yeah, like that. Bit of whiz. And get that on low. That doesn't need to be boiling, it just needs to be warm. Don't ask me the science, it's got something to do with the alkali, but it makes them brown and lovely. Like me. <laughs> like Finita. Okay, let's go back over to the work surface and we'll start making the pretzels. You want bare minimal flour. Just enough to work on the surface. If you've oiled it nicely, and the proof will be in the pudding, I guess, then it should come out without too much trouble. Look at that. Now, to help yourself get the proportions right, I like to make a rough rectangle. Like so. I'm actually gonna flour that a little bit more, because the oil is quite wet. I'm lucky to have one of these things because we make a lot of bread in this house. It's really handy for dividing flour. If you bake a lot, I recommend getting one. It's just nice and handy. If not, just use a big knife. It doesn't really matter. So I'm going to try and get this into equal sized pieces. Use whatever technique you find yourself comfortable using to stretch it out into a long, piece of dough like so. Now, to make the pretzel shape, bring it to yourself, fold it over again, up to the back and twist it. If you need to kind of adjust it, go ahead and adjust it. Put that to one side. Once you've played with it a few times, you get a little bit faster. why we gave it a good kneading earlier to develop all those glutens so you can give it a good stretch and the dough doesn't break. Don't worry too much about making it look perfect. 
what's more important is how they taste, right? I've had a little bit of dough left over, so I'm just going to play with it. Here, look, baby one. That's going to be my one, because Fen's not going to let me near the others. Yeah, they're right. Now we're going to go and do the weird part of this. First thing you need to do is to prep yourself something to bake the pretzels in. I've got this nice new non-stick pan. So the, uh, the surface on that is really good. Uh, if you've got an older one, you're going to probably want to use a baking sheet. If you've got a silicon mat type of thing, that's perfect. I really want one. Um, but we, I'm just going to use this for now. I'm just going to lightly spray the surface with the, uh, the old fry light here. Then what we do is we take our pretzel and gently lower it into the water bath. I like to count to 30, it seems like a good number. They puff up a bit this way. And after about 30 seconds, I'm a little dunk. Gently lift your pretzel out. Let the excess water sort of drip off. Make sure you get it exactly where you want it on the tray straight away because it's going to stick after a short while. And repeat with the other pretzels. If you're making savoury pretzels of the salt on them, now is the time to put the salt on. I'm only going to make one just for illustrative purposes. The sweet ones we are going to flavour after. When you're ready, it's going in the top shelf. You can see my pizza stones in there. Time it for four minutes. That's because my oven's got a hot spot at the back. I'm going to need to rotate it halfway through. See you in four minutes. Ooh, I wouldn't call this strictly necessary, but I like to give them a little flip just to make sure that they're cooked underneath. Here's our soft pretzels, all baked. If you've made sorted ones, they're done. So eat them as soon as they're cool enough. But we're going to do one more step. Now if you're uh, not so worried about your calorie intake, go ahead and uh, microwave a little bit of butter. But we're trying to be good, so we're going to get out the old uh, fry light again and give them a good old spray. And this is how I coat them. Get them into a box. They're still nice and warm. All right. In goes your sugar. Don't be afraid of the sugar. And cinnamon to taste. Obviously everyone's idea of how much cinnamon is nice, it's different. I think we like quite a lot. Okay, so box. Soft pretzels! Okay, so it's just a bit where you do a Chef John moment. Okay, look. So look at this. Feel the crust. Mm. But the proof is in the tasting. So, Fen, would you like to taste it? Pretty good. Yeah? Mm. So, my one. Mm. So, yeah, I hope you're um, fin inspired to try these at home. Bye, guys. <laughs>